Well, hello and welcome back to Nerd Alert again this week. We have an exciting bunch of stories for you, but first I want to introduce a brand new special guest this week. His name is Leo Camacho. Leo, oh, oh me? Oh, huh? this guy? Oh, this guy? <laughs> Leo is a host, uh, and he's also a well-known internet personality. It's hard to describe him. He's yeah. been around a lot of different places. You may have seen some outstanding cosplay from this fellow, or you may have heard him talk about maybe the latest Disney movie or what's going on in that world, or Star Wars. Uh, so welcome, Leo. You're <laughs> a well-rounded you. dude, and that's what we like on this show. Thank you. I, I just want to point out this table is a, is a pretty solid representation of me. Okay, dinosaur. Like dinosaurs and Star Wars and Spider-Man. Which, by the way, is Disney now, so that counts. Yep. <laughs> well, known dinosaur Leo Camacho will be here all week. We're going to talk about our first story right now, which is the brand new Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them trailer. Let's take a, a little peek into that world. Luma. First trip to America? Yes. Must get that fixed. Anything edible in there? Um, uh, no, no. Any livestock? No. Welcome to New York. There we have Newt. You can check out the full version of that trailer. Uh, we only could show you a little peek, little, unfortunately, little today. Uh, but I think it's still pretty magical, that little scrimpet of information yeah. you got. Yeah, just the flipping where it says muggle-worthy is like enough to get me super hyped about it. Well, we haven't really discussed or rather talked or, or seen or peeked into this world yet no. about uh, muggles and uh, human, uh, humans. We're all humans. We're all humans. Muggles <laughs> and, and wizards and, wiz and their yeah. worlds intertwining. Because in Harry Potter, a lot of it did take place in the wizard world. Yeah, and also it took place in London. This takes place in America where they're not called muggles, they're called nomads. I don't <laughs> like that word. It's ugly I'm word. I'm going with muggle. <laughs> um, they're always muggles. They're yeah. always going to be muggles. Well, I mean, it's just we didn't really... We, we never really had that fear of being exposed, except to maybe the Dursley's mm -hmm. uh, terrible friends. Uh, but it's, it's interesting to see how you fit into the, the muggle world, how uh, one muggle in particular, I think Dan Fogler, is being introduced in this yeah. world. It's like us He's being like, well, welcomed into this brand new world as well for us. Well, it's interesting too, because like you think about European wizards, and I feel like Europe is just much more spread out, mm -hmm. and then America is just like clustered, and this takes place in, I believe, Chicago, which is like a big city, so how is magic operating in I the confines? It was New York. Or New York, excuse an me. An even bigger city. Yeah, even bigger city, yeah. With more Case Americans. Point. <laughs> yeah, so how are they operating? I mean, obviously, you go, there's, like, there's a clip in the trailer where he goes into a, a suitcase, mm -hmm. and it, where is he going? I know. Is, Where's is he going? Is the suitcase a new form of port yeah. key, but not really, because it's not That's what I'm wondering. Uh, it's and then we have the the suitcase itself could be kind of like Hermione's bag that was enchanted uh, in the yep. Deathly Hollows. It's, it's a magical interesting bag that of holding. we're thinking about. Yeah, we're just thinking about accessories. Right yeah, now. well, I get into it too because I'm actually going through the Harry Potter series for the first time right now. I'm what? on Order of the Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, really? and uh, I've always been a fan of the movies. Are we then, gonna spoil it for you? No, 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 <laughs> because this isn't even a book. Yeah. This is just no, a character a that's, well, sort of. But it's based of. on a book, to this be is like, fair. Exactly. Yeah. It's like based on the uh, uh, the character from a book, but it's a whole new story that doesn't exist in, in literature so far. Mm -hmm. And um, and all the little details are what really makes the world so sort of enveloping, right? And and I feel like, this. how does this work? How does this bag work? And, you know, here's my big one. So Hermione mentions in, um, in Goblet of Fire that you can't use things like walkie-talkies and microphones because magic interferes with... Techno technology, mm -hmm. and they're operating one of the most technological cities in the world, right? I mean, even though it's a little I mean, bit it's in the 1920s, past. But yeah, but still, they got technology, <laughs> right? Like, did, yeah. what, so they at what point? They certainly have radio signals right, and television. Right. At what point does wizard technology stop being compatible with muggle technology? Like, mm -hmm. at what age, right? Because they're sort of, they still live in sort of like a medieval time. In a way, a little past it. In our, in their own way. Yeah. In their, in their analogy. Yeah, of that. it's like they've got a weird mix of like Victorian and medieval, and. Well, it's because technology is magic. Ah, uh, man, right? To me. Uh, but well, yeah, I come it's, from it's, they're one and the same. It is. That was there's. My that is a very good point, though, because we haven't really been in this era where we're on the cusp of two different worlds colliding yeah. and not being compatible heavily, anymore. Heavily, heavily colliding. And then colliding. we're in this new world, and we're in a Muggle-focused area instead of a wizard area. So. I think there's so much to be excited about. That's why I'm super stoked because we have no concept of this world. Like there's nothing, there's no preconceived notion of how this functions. We're seeing how wizards function on a, diff a different continent for the first time. Well, in this we have Newt, who have is, uh, he's uh, an interesting character as 
described over the voiceover mm -hmm. because he has been kicked out of Hogwarts. He has endangered lives. Yep, but he's uh, uh, Dumbledore's boy. But Dumbledore adores him, yep. so there's got to be something very redeeming and good about him, I mean, uh, despite all that. So aside I mean, from him being dreamy Eddie Redmayne, though. Besides being, you know, <laughs> pretty cute and fumbling and endearing in his own way. Uh, so this, there's so much to be excited for. I'm excited. Yeah, Audience, I'm really what was excited. your favorite part of uh, of this trailer? trailer. What, what do you hope to see expanded more upon? Let us know below in the comments. And please like and subscribe for more.